tonight is one of these messages that I had to tell my damn self. Okay, I don't want to go harp on my story the last few months, but I was at a place in my life where I wanted to give up and I'm going to be totally transparent with you. I wanted to give up in my life, right? Everything was going wrong in my life. I lost a lot of things in my life and I wanted to give up, right? I wanted to, I, it just, I was questioning God, all those things, all the things that we all go through. So if you're in that position right now, this is a message that you need to hear, Okay. But again, I had to understand what I was truly fighting for and living for, okay? Because I'm going to tell you this, life has a tricky way to make you forget what and who you are truly living for. And I'm going to be honest and real. I can talk about myself. When I was in my depression, I was living my life on repeat. I was doing the same things that were diving me deeper in my depression. I was doing the same things over and over and over and over again, expecting change, praying for change, hoping for change, hoping for a miracle. But I was doing the same things that were keeping me stagnant. I was doing the same things that were worsening my mental health. I was doing the same things that were not giving gratitude, that not helping me see the, uh, the goodness and having gratitude in my life. A lot of us on this live at some point are right now because we're human beings and this is no shot at you. Right. You're a human being. We all going to go through our storms. But a lot of us, what we do is we live our life on repeat. We spend time. Right. Living our life on repeat. We spend time in the same mess. We spend time in the same situation. We spend time in the same stress and we spend our life like that. Right. We want change. We want to do better. We want all these things. But we're continuing to spend time on things that move us further away from it. And I got to tell you this truth because maybe other people won't tell you, but I love you too much and I care about you too much to, to help you to continue to help you keep living a lie, to help you not be, I mean, to not be real with you. I love you too much. I care about you too much. So I got to be honest and real with you. If you keep living your life on repeat, right? Keep spending time and things that bring chaos to your soul. Keep spending time around people that don't appreciate you. Keep spending time being entertained by other people's lives by trying to control things you can't control. That is the perfect recipe, my friend. All 4,000 of you, listen to me. That is the perfect recipe. The perfect recipe for stress. The perfect recipe for depression. The perfect recipe for suicide. The perfect recipe for low self-esteem. It is the perfect recipe. You have to be real and honest with yourself. You got to tell yourself, if I keep living my life on repeat, if I keep living this life on repeat with negative habits, negative people, negative mindset, staying in pain, if I keep living this life, then I'm going to keep getting those same results. And time is just going to continue to move forward. So I got a question for you. And I want you to comment in the comment box below. I got a question for you. How are you spending your time? Like, be real and be honest. How are you spending your time? Are you spending your time with those that you love, with people that you love, doing the things that you love, creating the things that you love? Are you spending your time doing things that add more stress to your life? Doing things that add more pain to your life? Doing things that make you look in the mirror and you don't like yourself? Because the truth is, and most people don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. Ain't nothing going to change until you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Ain't nothing going to change until you say, you know what? I'm not repeating this another day in my life. I'm not going to be the same person I was yesterday. I'm not going to keep accepting the same mess that I kept accepting. I'm not going to keep believing apologies that people keep saying all these things, but it ain't no action. I'm going to take ownership over my freaking life and I'm going to stop living like that. Because the truth of the matter is a lot of us, we living like we got time, man. You don't have time. Stop living like that. You don't have time. You can't stop time. The sun is going to keep rising. It's going to keep rising. The moon's going to keep coming up. It's going to keep rising over and over and over again. And your days are going to look the same over and over and over again. I want you right now because this changed my life. 
When I was in my darkest times, this changed my life. And I want you to do this with me right now in this moment. Okay, do it right now. Don't just listen to me. I need you to do it. I want you to visualize yourself right now. I want you to visualize yourself a year from now, living your life on that same repeat, right? The repeat of keeping yourself in a toxic situation. The repeat of minding other people's business when you should be minding your own. The repeat of trying to control things that are out of your control. The repeat of settling for less. The repeat of putting toxic things in your life. The repeat of feeling guilty for putting yourself first. I want you to picture a year from now. I want you to take 10 seconds. And I want you to picture a year from now how your life is going to be if you keep living your life on repeat and you don't release the things in your life that need to be released. Take 10 seconds. Take it. And I want you to feel it in your soul. I want you to feel it in your soul because the truth is, man, you deserve better. But also the truth is you deserve exactly what you settle for. And people, things, this life, whatever term you want to use is going to keep giving you that same stuff if you keep accepting it. You got to get to a point where you say no more. You got to get to a damn point in your life, man. I'm trying not to yell because I got neighbors out here. You got to get to a point in your life. Like I told myself, I said, Trent, no more. Not another day. Not another day where you sit here and you mop around and soap. Listen, hard times is real. You can deal with your hard times, but not another day you're going to sit here and do nothing with your life. Not another day you're going to sit here and just wish and pray and do nothing. Right? Continue to pray, but you're going to act upon your prayers. That's true faith. Not another day. Not another day you're going to keep, you know, not doing the things that you need to be doing. Not another day. I got sick and tired of being sick and tired for real. And the truth of the matter is some of us on this live, y'all about to get off right now. I don't care because I'm telling you the truth that you need to hear. You might not like me, but I promise you, you this will help your life. Some of y'all ain't sick and tired of being sick and tired. You think that you are. But when you truly get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you say not another day. Not another freaking day. Not another day am I going to keep living this life on repeat. Not another day am I going to be a victim of my temptations. Not another day am I going to be a victim of my limitations. Not another day am I going to be a victim of somebody else's insecurities. Not another day am I going to be somebody's punching bag. Not another day am I going to be a prisoner to my past. Not another day am I going to be a slave to my health. Not another day. And when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired for real, you live by that mantra and you say not another day. It changes right now. It changes right now. And I talked about this a few weeks ago. What happens when you're inactive in action is a sickness. It's a silent sickness that nobody talks about. I know when I was depressed a few months ago, I know when I was like just, ugh. That's the best way I can put it. I was, uh, everybody, anybody feel like, uh, type, uh, if you ever feel like, uh, right. That's the best way I can put it. It was because I was inactive. I sat around waiting on something to happen for my life, waiting on somebody to save me, waiting on somebody to give me a, something, waiting on, waiting on, waiting on. And I sat there and I was inactive Inactive is a sickness and that sickness will lead to suffering in your life. Some of us on this live right now, we're not happy because we stopped being active in the things that made us happy. This is a very unpopular to say, but I'm going to tell you right now, get back to having fun in your life. Get back to go spending time with your kids. Get back to running through the sprinklers outside. Get back to go playing volleyball. Get back to going playing basketball. Get back. A lot of us, we dive ourselves into depression because we become inactive. And I want you to remember this quote. And I'm going to get back to my message. You don't become old because of your age. You become old because you stop spending time on the things that kept you feeling young. That kept you feeling young. What's something right now in your life that you stopped doing that you know you should be doing? That you stopped doing that you love to you, that you used to love to do? And I'm not talking about nothing negative. I'm talking about something positive in your life that you, that you used to love to do, but you stopped doing it for whatever reason. And you start to feel like you feel. And when you become inactive in your life, you know what happens? That healed you. That greatest version of you, the you you deserve to be, the you you dream about, right? The you that you see in the mirror, you know, is something deep down inside of you that's greater than what you're choosing to settle for. That's greater than any pain. Y'all ain't hearing me, man. If you hear me, drop some, drop some hearts. 
If you hear me, drop some hearts. Thank you for the stars, Lord. Let's reach that stars go tonight, all right? I got something special. We had 10,000, I get 100,000. So even I got to go sore with my voice, we going to get there tonight. All 4,000, you share this right now if you can, all right? Let's get these numbers up in here because somebody out there that doesn't know this message exists needs to hear. They have no idea who I am, but you can be a hero. So I want you to share, text, message somebody, say, hey, you need to get in here right now and hear this message because we ain't even started yet. But I'm going to tell you this, the more you're inactive, right? And a lot of things persuade us to be inactive, right? The in comparison, judgment on ourselves, fear, all those things. I'm to this, I'm to that. I will never be, I can't, I'm to whatever. And you become inactive. You become inactive. And you know what happens when you become inactive? That greater you, that let, that, that the, the best you, the, the, the progressive you, the happy you, the healed you, the joyful you, it moves further and further and further away. And that gap from who you are today, from who you want to be, just continues to widen. And most of us, what's happened in our life is that that gap has gotten so wide, we just said, F it. And I'm just going to accept the life that I'm living. Right, I'm going to just live in this same old routine, the same old repeated life. I'm going to just, I'm, I'm too old to start over. I'm too old. It's not starting over. Because when you start over, it means you start from scratch. No, you're starting from where you're at and using everything that was supposed to break you and allow those things to build you. But a lot of us, we just say, man, eh, nah, I can't change. I can't do this. I can't do that. And we stay there. And we allow that mindset to poison our life. We allow that mindset to poison our life. In the rest of our life, the rest of your life will look no different than what it is today. And I come here to tell you, this whole message today to tell you is, yeah, that's the truth. But the other truth is, is you can do something about it. You can do something about it. You can decide to release the things in your life and stop spending time in things that don't help your life. I made a podcast today that comes out tomorrow. And I said, man, I think I found the answer to life. And it was so simple. I realized when my days were great, I could go back on my day and realize that I spent time on the things that brought joy to my life. I spent time on the things that helped my life. And when my days were sucky, when my days were terrible, I realized that I spent time on things that made it that way. And some of us, we spending all that time on things that don't help us move there. And we wonder why we're not getting there. You got to be real with yourself. I see what y'all post in the comments. That's great. But you got to be real with yourself. And when are you going to get to a point when enough is enough? When are you going to get to a point where you say, you know what? Man, I wasn't just created just to live average. I wasn't just created to live broken. I wasn't just created to just go through the motions. I wasn't just created to be a watcher. I wasn't created just to be a wisher. I was created to be something greater. And I know it's hard to believe when it's in your storm. How do I know? Because I was that same person. I was that same person. No matter what anybody said to me, all that I saw was my pain. All that I saw was, man, ain't nothing going to be better. All I saw was my limitations. And I got to a point where I really got sick and tired. I looked myself in the mirror and I was disgusted at myself. But I was also proud of myself. I was disgusted because I let myself get to that point. But I was proud of myself because I didn't give up. And I want to tell everybody on this live right now, I'm proud of you. You might be disgusted at yourself. But I want to tell you I'm proud of you because you didn't give up. I'm proud of you because you're here right now. You're here today. But I want you to take the next step and I want you to gain some action in your life. And I want you to be active. I want you to be active. And I want you to say right now, say in the comments right now, I want you to say, not another day. Not another day will I continue to be the person I wasn't created to be. Not another day will I believe the lies that they're trying to tell me. Not another day will I keep my life in something that I know it's toxic for my life. Not another day. Because the truth is, some of us, and I've been guilty of this, we've been saying next year for the last 20 years. 
We've been saying tomorrow for the last year. We've been saying next week for the last 88 weeks. Right? So the mindset that we're taking from tonight is not another freaking day. Not another day will I not spend time on becoming the best version of myself. If you want to feel happiness in your life, you know what you do? You spend time on things that make you happy. Say duh in the comments. Because that's a common sense thing, right? Say duh in the comments. Say duh, Trent. If you want to feel peace in your life, you know what you do? You spend time on things that bring you peace. Me meditating in the morning, it brings me peace. Me hiking, it brings me peace. If you want to strengthen your life, you know what you do? You spend time on things that make you strong. We can no longer do the opposite and expect to get the reward that we want in our life. We can no longer do the opposite. Happy birthday. Uh, I think it's Ayana. It's your 50th birthday. And today's the day that you say, I say, we all say, not another freaking day. I would say another word, but I'm not. Y'all going to crucify me if I say that. Not another freaking day. Not another day, man, will I allow my past to continue to dictate my future. Not another day will I allow my mistakes to be the barrier that keeps me from my greatness. Not another day will I allow my mistakes to chain me to who I used to be. Not another day. Because some of us, right, we're so controlled by our past. Y'all know my quote. Just because you have some bad chapters doesn't mean your story can't end well. But not another day that you live in your past. You can't do nothing about that. Some of us, we still harping on things that happened 10 years and 20 years ago. And I'm not saying ignore it because it's real, but use it. Don't let it use you. Not another day will you allow that to happen anymore. Enough is enough. And I'm standing with you with this. And I promise you, if you decide and live and adopt that mindset, not another day will I be lazy. Not another day will I not keep promises to myself. Not another day will I not be in my children's life. Not another day will I stop. Not another day will I stop giving my all to people who deserve it. Right? Not another day. You got to start operating like that. I don't care the mistakes that you made. Don't let this, this, this world that everybody's consumed with everybody's business, who doing this, who doing what, everybody got an opinion. Don't fall into that trap. I want you to lock in on what you can control. So whatever it is for you, I want y'all to come in right now. Tell me, tell me in the comments right now what it's not going to be another day of. Like, I want to know. Okay? I want to know because we're all different on here. We're all on a different journey. But for me, it will never be another day of me not obsessing and immersing myself in my mission because of stress in my life. Y'all hear me. And I made up my mind with this months ago. And I know y'all saw the shift and I know y'all felt the change. Because I told myself that. Not another day. And so if you in here on the comments right now, and you telling yourself, again, the same story over and over and over again that don't serve your life, man. I'm telling you, man, your story is not going to change. And every chapter in your future is going to look like this chapter right now. That's a truth that you don't want to hear. That's why I titled, don't come in here if you don't want to hear the truth. Because I got to tell you that real. I got to be honest with you. Easy for you to say, Trent. Easy for you to say, well, <laughs> yeah, y'all know what I've been through. Just like I might not know what you've been through. I've seen the comments right now. We all got our mess. We all got our struggles. We all go through our situations. But if I can do it, you damn sure can do it. Not another day, man. Not another day. Where we at? Let me get in these comments right here. Not what I live in a man, allowing myself. Not another day what I live in, a, in broken. Please. And don't just say it, mean it. And I want you to attach a why to that. Like why, why, why can it not be another day? Why can it not be another day? I want to know why. Why can it not be another day? Okay, and what I'm going to do tonight, 
So I got a feeling we're going to be here for a minute. What I'm going to do tonight, all right? <clears throat> and I always, we are at 24%, all right, of stars. So what I'm going to do tonight, if we reach 100K tonight, I'm calling one of you, okay, personally. And we're going to talk about what it's not going to be another day of. But you have to DM me. You have to DM me, DM me on Instagram, all right? And I'm going to watch. I'm seeing names on here. But I'm going to call one of you, like personally, FaceTime if we can, if you've got an iPhone. But I want to talk about that, what it's not going to be another day of. I'm done with all negative people that I should have cut them out a long time ago. Not under depression, chronic pain, due to my disease. They're, man, who is that? Liana? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Make up your mind, man. Make up your mind. There's nothing more powerful in this world than a made up mind. And some of us, we made up our mind in the wrong way. But some of us tonight, and that's why I'm smiling from inner ear because I already know it. I can feel it. Some of us tonight, tonight is going to be the last day that you settle for less in your life. Right? Today was the last day that you settled for less in your life. And I cannot wait for you to experience the growth, the change, the peace in your life just by doing that. Just by doing that. I cannot wait for you to experience that. Not another day of allowing us to dedicate my time and energy. Once you get out of a toxic situation, you man, thank you, Jessica, for the stars. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, man. Man. Oh. I'm just reading these comments. I'm pursuing my passion to help other people. Man, not another day. I'm not. Man, not another day where I don't feel self-love for myself. Because if I don't love myself, then why would I expect? Man, thank you, Jennifer. Oh, man. Not another day of it, man. Not another day of not loving yourself, man. You set the tone for your life. You tell people how to treat you. Like, Trent, we heard this a million times for you, and here's a million and one. You tell people how to treat you by how you treat yourself. You tell people how to treat you by how you respect yourself. You tell people how to treat you from what you demand from yourself, right? When you set the tone for your life, other people have to respect it. Other people have to respect it. But if we keep living days of ignoring our worth, not loving ourselves, then we're going to keep falling victim to the same old things over and over again. Over and over again. Give me one second, y'all. I, I got to text somebody real quick. Don't leave. Don't leave. Hold on. What about your own child that needs help and their issues? Brenda, do all you can to help your child. Do all, do all you can to help your child. Do all you can. Thank you, Brian, for the stars. I appreciate you. We don't know everything you go through, Trent. None of us should have to go through another bit. Yeah, exactly, Marie. Y'all don't, right? But I go through things just like you. You go through things just like me, right? Maybe the, maybe what we go through are different, but the fact of the matter is we all go through things. And listen, this is on a side note. Like, I'm, I'm going to come back to the message, but this is on a side note. If we had that understanding as humans that we all go through different things, just imagine the respect level we have for each other. Right? We wouldn't be fighting over who chooses what to do with their life and who chooses what to do with their family and who does this and who does right, right. We live in a world where everybody wants to be right, that we get it wrong so much. And I, I 100% advocate for people living their truth, for people being right. And I tell people all the time, you are right, but don't try to put your right on me. Right. That is your truth, but your truth doesn't have to be my truth. And if we got to a place in this world. Where we understood that, where we understood that, things would change. Things would absolutely change. If we got to a place where we would stop being selfish and everybody wants to have opinions, everybody wants to say this, and I respect everybody's perspective. But we live in a world where we're always trying to prove other people wrong. What if you put that same energy to your own life? Okay, I'm about to switch messages right now. So this is a whole different message right now. I just came to my heart and I just want to say this because it's been on my mind, it's been on my heart. And if I offend anybody, I'm not trying to. Y'all know my heart. But I just want to I just want to ask you this question. What if you put that same energy that you put into tearing people down, that you put into talking about people, that you put into making people feel bad? And if this message is not for you, it's not for you. But y'all know the people that I'm talking about, the Karens of the world. If there's Karens on here, I'm not talking about you, Karen. But y'all know, right? We, all those people, right? We know, right? The people that were, I got some other names I could call, but I'm not going to say it. But would you just use Karen since that's the popular term today? 
Right, but, but, but what if you took that same energy that you use to put on other people, not in a positive way, but to make them feel guilty for what they choose and what they choose to do with their life? They life, not yours. They life. You ain't got to answer for them. You got to answer for your life. And we live in a society where we forget that everybody has a different perspective. We forget that everybody's went through something. I see people all the time sitting here judging a person because of where they at in their life. And you have no damn idea where that person came from. But you judging where they at. And saying, man, you know, look at that person. All that stuff. And you worry about their life. I pray. I pray. I pray. I pray. And quote me on this. I pray my life never gets to a point where, mine and, where folks in somebody else's business becomes more important than mine and my own. I'm going to say that again. I pray, Lord, I pray that somebody else's life, right? Folks on somebody else's life never becomes more important than mine and my own business. It don't mean we don't help people. It don't mean we don't share things to people. But I'm tired and sick and tired of seeing the judgment on people, man. You don't know what that person has been through. You don't know what that person is battling. You don't know the, the thoughts that are going on in here. And we sit here and we try to tear people down for that. So not another day of that. So if you're that person on here, not another day of that. Not another day of you trying to put you on somebody else. Because it's not fair because you wouldn't want that. You'd be the first one offended when somebody tried to tell you that. <laughs> but you're doing that to other people. You know, that's the world that we live in. That's the world that we live in. We live in a world where if something is different, somebody has a different view, opinion, we criticize them, we tear them down. Not knowing what they've been through, where they came from, their experience in their life. But we will sit there and we will tear them down because it's different than our life. Like we got it right. It's your right. Who says it is right? We all are living in perspective. Every single one of us. There's a message tonight that I spoke about. Some people be like, that's totally wrong, Trent. It's right for me. It might be wrong for them and I respect that. But it's right for me. And so I just want you to think about that because I'm very conscious of that myself. And we would live in a much better society if people understood that. Like you look on social media now, all you see is people arguing about some stuff they can't control. All you see is people being experts on things that they ain't experts at. That's all you see. And it's been going on for since the beginning of the time. That's all you see. People giving their two cents when ain't nobody asked them for it. And if we took that same energy and put that into things that we can control. Oh, I'm about to. Oh, man. All right. If we took that same energy that we try to tear somebody else down and put that same energy into building our kids up, into being around our kids, putting love into our kids, some of us in this world, and this is not nobody on this live because I know all of y'all are awesome people, but some people in this world, you know what's crazy is that they literally give so much hate in this world and they don't give love to the ones that love them. They don't give love to their kids, but they give so much hate to other people. Take that same energy that you use for hate, take that love and put it into something that you can control. Right? Put it into something that you can control that you can make the difference in. Instead of sitting here debating on stuff. I'm not saying you can't debate. I'm not saying you can't have a perspective, right? But my point in my and my point in saying all this is, is that use the energy in things you can control. Spend time on doing that. Spend time on making this world a better place. And maybe that's your view of making it a better place. I respect it. But I just wish we had more empathy in this world for that. So if you're a person on here, you probably got off because I made you mad. But if you're a person on here and you're still on here and it's touching your soul, I'm not attacking you. But please make it not another day of that. Not another day. It's okay to be different. It's okay to have different views. That's what makes up this world. It's okay. It's okay because everybody's wired different. Everybody's brain is different. So I just wanted to, that's just like a, a remix in today's message. I just wanted to put that out there because it's been on my mind for a while. And I just want to put that out there. But back to the message, because I know some new people have now joined in. Thank you. Let me know you let me know where you're from. I'm gonna get in the comments uh and all of that stuff, man. But that's today's message, man, is not another day. 
And that those words to me really, it, it really changed my life. You know, we think life change and stuff is supposed to be some grand thing, but it was literally those words that changed my life. Literally, those words that changed my life. I said, not another day. And I can pinpoint this to recently. I can pinpoint this to 10 years ago, 12 years ago when I started rehab time. I told myself, man, not another day. Because I knew exactly if I continued. I knew exactly if I continued to live those days, where that was going to lead to. I know ex. My heart is feeling for some people on here tonight because I know there's a person on here right now watching that I don't know personally, but I just know it's in my heart that you've been fighting for days. You've been fighting just to make it another day. You've been fighting, you know, for your respect. You've been fighting for your peace. And I want to tell you this. And I just hope this message, man, was that message for you to be the disruptor. And you repeating another day because the truth of the matter is some of us can't afford to make it another day. And what I mean by that, some of us can't afford to stay in that another day. Some of us can't afford to continue to do that another day. Some of us can't afford to continue to think and be involved in that another day. So tonight is the night that you say not another day and you mean it because you can't afford to keep playing with your life. And I, when I say playing with your life, don't take that out of context. But you can't afford it. And I just hope that your heart is softened from all the things that's hard in your heart. Because I know when you're going through your hardest times in life, even the best messages, even the most ki the kindest words, they don't pierce through because all you see is all that you feel. All you understand is all that you feel. And so I just pray, man, that that ice that's made your heart cold. I pray that this fire message tonight <laughs> melted that ice. And I pray that you feel, even if it's just an inkling a peace, an inkling of hope, faith. I pray that you feel that. And I pray that you know there's more to your life than what you're currently going through. There is. And I know that sounds stupid as hell. I'm sorry to use those words, but I, I'm being real with y'all in here tonight. I told you, if you don't want the truth, don't come on here. I know it sounds stupid as hell to hear that, especially when you're going through that. How do I know? Because I've been there. But I just want you to promise yourself and promise me, right? You on here, so maybe promising me will, will help a bit, but it's more about promising yourself. That you're just going to spend time on things that bring what you need to your life. So for everybody going through a moment, going through a season, this is some tactical stuff that please apply to your life. If you can spend 75% of your time every single day on what you need. 
So if you need healing, spend 75% of your time listening to messages, praying, meditating, right? Get into a small group. Spend time on that. Spend 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes on that. Can you do that for me? Spend 60 minutes, 45 minutes, 30 minutes of walking, just walking. And just saying thank you. You might say, thank you for what, Trent? Thank you because if you understood how everything was building your life, you will be saying thank you too. You will be saying thank you too. And I see people comment on here and, you know, putting out their frustrations and pain. I see Miss Jones or Mr. Jones on here. You know, all those things that you went through. I get it. Yeah, I probably ain't been through all of that. But my struggle has been my struggle and so is yours. And everybody's struggle is different. Everybody handles pain different. But I want to tell you this. I know there's more to your life. I know your life ain't over. I know it sucks to lose people. I know it sucks to lose things. But at the end of the day, those things cannot break you without your permission. And that's what the enemy wants you to think. The enemy wants you to stay there and say, oh, my life is done. My life is over because I lost everything I cared about. And I feel you with that. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to help you because if you stay in that same thing and, oh, you ain't lost this, you ain't lost that, you ain't lost this, you ain't lost that, you stay there, it's going to give you a reason to keep your life there. And I can promise you, you keep your life there, nothing's going to change in your life. So no, I haven't lost all of that, but I lost a lot in my life for me. Just like everybody else in here has lost something in their life. I don't care if it's their dog. Nobody knows how much their dog meant to them. I know people who literally depressed for years because they lost a dog, right? I know if I lost my dog, I would be depressed. The point I'm trying to make in everything is that things cannot continue to break you if you allow it. If you just change your perspective and you say, you know what, not another day. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It don't mean you're going to be pain free. It don't mean that you're going to be stress free. It don't mean you gonna ain't going to have your bad days. This ain't no perfection talk. You want perfection talk, go on somebody else's life. Go to a motivational speaker. I ain't no motivational speaker. That's facts. I'm speaking that real to you. That real to you. You're going to still have your storms in life. But you know what? Just because it rains don't mean, don't mean that you can't still produce rainbows. There's no rain without the rainbow. Don't y'all realize that? There's no growth without storms. Don't y'all realize that? So I want you to understand that with your life. Understand that with your life. We all in this fight. And some of us begin our ASS kicked for a lot of rounds. We all been there. Blow after blow after blow after blow. But you still standing. You here. You still fighting. And you think about how weak you are. To me, that's showing how strong you are. And you ain't realize that. You ain't realize that. You ain't realize how strong you are because you thinking that you're weak because you got knocked down. Not realizing that you're strong because you got knocked down and you found the courage, you found the grit, you found the determination to get back up. You're going to have worry in your life. I seen it coming with that. Worry's going to be there. But every time you worry, you got to remind. That's why it's, man. All right. Y'all about to get some T. Shelly today, man. You're going to have all these things in your life, y'all. That's why it's important to say not another day. That's why it's important to spend time with your truth. That's why it's important to strengthen your life. That's why it's important to all those things. Because when those things show up, because they will, right? They will. It will. When it shows up, when doubt shows up, when fear shows up, when worry shows up, guess what? Your faith going to show up too. Guess what? Your strength is going to show up too. Guess what? Your courage is going to show up too. And you're going to find a way to keep fighting. And keep fighting don't mean that you're knocking stuff out. Don't mean you conquer through life. Sometimes we have our seasons. Sometimes keep fighting is, you know what? Not quitting. Sometimes that that's what it is. But you got a victorious God on your side, man. Like you got God on your side. 
Like God got you. And some of us, we turned our back on God because we feel like God ain't rewarded us. We feel like God is punishing us. God is hating us because we judging the love God has for us based upon our circumstances. Can I preach to y'all for a minute? We base the love God has for us based upon our circumstances. If God loved me, why would this happen? If God loved me, why would I go through this? How do I know? Because I question God. Can I be real with y'all? Or y'all want to be some motivational speaker that don't tell y'all that real? I'm not saying motivational speakers don't say that real, but a lot of people online, they ain't going to tell you that real. They ain't going to tell you that. They want to make you think that they have it all together so they can influence you more. Not me. You don't think I was questioning God a few months ago? You don't think that I was angry a few months ago? Yeah, somebody whose faith is strong. But you know what? I was basing God's love for me based upon my damn circumstances. And that's the mistake that we make. Because we base God's love for us based upon our circumstances. And we don't understand what God is actually doing for our life. We don't understand it. Because what God is doing for our life and how much he helps our life, we will never be able to fathom it because it's not just based upon our circumstances. God loves you because you're, you're his. And I want you to understand that, man. In your darkest moment, trust God even when it's hard to. Trust God even when you don't understand it. Trust God even when it don't make sense. It don't because to be honest, some things we will never understand. It don't make sense that my mom died for can from cancer. It don't. There's no way in my, nothing could make that make sense to me ever. Nothing in this world. Somebody can say all the right things. It don't make sense. It don't make sense to see my mom suffer like she suffered. It don't, it didn't make sense. It will never make sense to me. But instead of trying to make it make sense, I give it to God. I let go and I give it to God. When I don't understand it, I let go and I give it to God. When I can't control it, I let go and I give it to God. When it don't make sense, I let go and I give it to God. When it's breaking me down, I let go and I give it to God. See, a lot of us, we are weak because we hold on to things that we are meant to give to God. We're holding on to struggle in our life that we're meant to give it to God and we're trying to do it ourselves. And yes, there is a part that you have to take action in your life like we talked about but there's also a major part where faith kicks in where you have to understand and give it to god and say you know what i don't understand what you are doing god will allow you to go through places you don't understand just to bring you to a place where he needs you to be how do you know that trent because i'm a living proof you need an example look at my story look at my life i wasn't supposed to be you no know, whatever y'all want to call me speaker influencer whatever that wasn't i was supposed to do this I'm not qualified for this. But I, I wanted to share that, man, because I didn't understand that. I didn't understand why my baby girl two days, you know, I don't want to go through that whole story. Y'all know that story. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it why I didn't understand the season of loss after loss after loss after loss after loss. Why? Why? I didn't understand it. And I had a choice. I had a choice like we all do. I can either allow that to make me angry at God, to curse God, to let it weaken my relationship with God, or I can say, you know what? I need to move closer to God. I need to move closer to him because it's these moments where I need him to carry me instead of me trying to carry my own burdens and trying to carry my own self. Let go and give it to God. You know, some things ain't going to never make sense. Some things you ain't going to ever understand. But I will say this. There is a point, a part in life I believe you have to take responsibility. Some of us, we in situations that's toxic and we gave it to God. We prayed about it. But God has showed you and revealed to you that this ain't what it is for your life. God is giving you signs and we keep on praying for signs. But God has showed you over and over and over and over again. Has allowed you to see it. We got to do our part to remove ourselves from certain situations. I, I've seen people lose a relationship that makes them lose their relationship with God. I've seen it. I've seen imperfections in people keep us from the perfection of God. I've seen it. 
I've experienced it. But when I decided to say not another day of me losing my faith, not another day of being angry at God, not a, I'm just being real with y'all how I felt. Like, I'm just being honest. Y'all can whatever. I don't care. Like, I'm just being open. That's all I know how to be. Not another day of me being depressed. Not another day of none of that stuff. And I went by that and I stood by that. And it gave me the strength. And I can tell you, I can tell you, look in my eyes when I say this. Look in my eyes when I say this. I don't understand why, what's going on in, you know, everybody politics, right? So let me be careful. But I don't understand what's going on in Afghanistan. I don't, I don't understand it. Why? Like, why does that have to happen to people? Like, there's kids out there, like, there's just innocent kids. Why? I don't understand it. I don't, but I also know that there's evil in this world. If everything was perfect, why would we need God? I'm not trying to preach to y'all today. I'm just trying to put some, put some sense in how I'm thinking. But I can tell you this, and prayers for everybody, man. And it makes you realize how good you got it. Think about that for a second. Just, just think about that for a second. What's going on across the, across the pond? Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. Don't it make your problems seem a little bit smaller? Right? Just a little bit. Those major problems, just a little bit smaller. I know I was thinking I was having some issues today till I saw a post and I saw people hanging off a plane and I couldn't even watch the rest. And I said, man, what am I complaining about? But I want to say this. When I said not another day and I made that decision, piece by piece by piece by piece by piece, I started to see the strength in everything that I went through. See, unfortunately, unfortunately, we got to go through things, man, to get stronger. I was working out this morning. I was like, man, I wish I could just get strong without lifting weights. How many of us would love that, right? Just like getting in shape without having to lift weights and run. <laughs> I wish we had like a magic pill, right, to do that. But I always believe that you got to go through it to get to it. Thank you for the stars, Jeanette. We are almost there, guys. And one of the things I'm going to do once we reach 100,000, I'm going to probably do it anyway, is I'm going to release this shirt because I know a lot of y'all want it. And this shirt says, watch your wish your worker. And what this means for some of y'all don't know, there's three types of people in this world. And uh, I know I'm giving y'all a lot of messages tonight, but I want to talk about this because there's people in this world that just watch, right? They sit on the stands and they just watch. They, they don't, they're not active. They're inactive. They're not active in their game of life. And they just watch. They're not active in their faith. They're not active in their courage. They just watch. They just watch. And unfortunately, we live in a society right now that it's programmed us to just watch. They just watch. Sitting on the sideline, just watching other people live their life. So many people are that. Then there's the wisher. There's a person that has all the great intentions in the world and they just wish things would change. They just wish things would change. Right. They wish and they wish and they wish. Oh, man, I wish things were different. Oh, I wish I was better. Oh, I wish I had this. I wish, I wish, I wish. And that's all they do is they wish. They're professional wishers. But then there's you. How do I know? Because you're here tonight. The worker. The person that puts in the work. Puts in the work. That does the dark work. The work that nobody sees that people don't pat you on the back for. People don't like your post for. People don't applaud you for. But you put in that work to make whatever it is better, stronger. You grow whatever. And so this is what this stands for, for me. And I tell, I'm telling people, do not get this shirt if you ain't trying to be a worker. I, I don't even want to release this shirt. I actually want to gift it to people that I know are actually doing the work because I don't want people to represent this shirt that don't want to do the work. And so whatever it is, man, you got to do the work. And the crazy thing about it is the watcher watches the person work. The wisher wishes they could be the person that works and the worker, obviously the one who puts in the work. I'm so depressed. Hold on. I'm so depressed. I, I, hold on. I like I had a rough weekend. I'm so disgusted at myself. Wish I could talk to you directly. Hey, everything I would tell you directly, 
I've told you, I'm telling you now. I tell my podcast, I'll tell you everything, everything, everything. And when we're depressed, we're allowing things that we can't control to control us. So I tell everybody that's depressed in here, what is one thing that you can do? Please listen to tomorrow's episode, guys. Please, like literally, it's it's what you need if you're in a hard place. And not even, if, even if you're not in a hard place, it's what you need. Trust me, it's like groundbreaking. But I'll tell you this, if you're depressed, tomorrow, spend time, okay? Be intentional. I call it IT, intentional time on things that you know will bring you peace, happiness, and energy. Just do it. So tonight, write it out. Okay, that doesn't mean that depression, that situation disappears. But I'm actively, if I'm you, I'm spending time doing things that I know will bring what I need to my life. That's the only way out of it. It's the only way. It's the only way out of it. Is to move, is to be active. Thank you, guys. I love all the support. I'm just going to like, get into these comments now and just thank you. I'm about to go to Instagram. So Instagram is always a different vibe. Don't get off yet because I'm staying on here. We had 63,000 stars. We are 63% to our goal. Can we, can we get, can we get, can we get the other, <laughs> my math is wrong, the other uh, 30, 36%, can we get that? Only 36%, guys. I'm about to start shouting at everybody that, that's sending stars right quick because I've been talking too much. John, man, thank you, Annie. She's a star sender. Thank you, Annie, for John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. Peace, man, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives I. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I love that. Thank you, Annie, for sending that. Thank you, Christina, for the stars. Thank you, Gigi, Karen, Sent 200 stars. Thank you. Deanna, thank you. Thank you, Lucia. Thank you, Mickey, Angela for the stars. Sherry, okay. Now y'all, y'all sending too many stars now. Okay. I'm trying to shout everybody out. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Callie. I appreciate you. Thank you. So, would y'all like me to release this shirt? Again, IG, what time is it? Hold on. It's 9.25, so at 9.40, we're going to Instagram. So I need everybody on here to come to Instagram. Instagram is always a different experience, so it's at Trent Shelton. Thanks for the stars, April. As soon as we get to 100,000, we off. Deborah, thank you, and that means I come on tomorrow. Well, I'm going to try to come on tomorrow. Yeah, I'll come on tomorrow early in the morning because I got to go somewhere tomorrow out of town to speak, but I'll come on early. Thank you, Janine, for the stars. We had 72. Do you ever think about coming to Columbia? Yes, um, once the world opens back up, I want to definitely come see all of y'all in person because um, I'm grateful that y'all rock with me. I'm grateful that y'all support me. I'm grateful that you come on here. I'm grateful that y'all listen to me. I know I can be very uh, real. like, and, and I'm not trying to say I'm real than anybody else, but just straight to the point, straight up. And sometimes it can be a hard pill to swallow. Like Even with myself, like I'm this blunt with myself and sometimes I'm like, dang, I don't want to hear that, but I need to hear that. And so I'm always going to help try to give you what helped me. Thank you. She said, Tina, I refuse to be a victim. Thank you, Eric, for the stars. Man, Christy, thank you for the stars. Laura is a supporter. Thank you. How y'all get the badges by your name, like supporter, star center? That's pretty dope. Facebook always doing some stuff. If you don't have an Instagram, get one just to follow and support me. If you don't have an Instagram, create one so you can come on the lives. <laughs> thank you, Nancy, for the stars. I appreciate it. Yeah, once we hit this 100,000, because we will, uh, we're about 20,000 away. So we are 80% to our goal. Uh, thanks for the stars, Cheryl. Um, we're going to release this shirt this week, and then I will be on tomorrow. And again, make sure you're in my DMs and come to Instagram and let me know you were on here. So um, I'm going to find one of you and actually FaceTime and, and really have a conversation about what it's not going to be another day of and why you cannot afford to make it another day. Like, that is a great perspective. And I never put that other part to it, like, together like that. Like, as I was speaking, I knew what I told myself in both ways. And so, like, just think about that when you're trying to make a change in your life. Think about that mantra, not another day, because it can't be another day. I love that. Thank you, Mandy. 
Joe, Joe Trent said, I like your last name. I will not live in fear. Thank you, Sabrina, for the stars. Thank you. I need to move more, bro. Got to keep pushing. Yeah, move your body, man. Move, move, move. Be active, not inactive. Melinda said, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. No, stars aren't the only thing that matters. But if somebody's going to take time out their day to do that, I'm going to recognize that. Just like I recognize other people who send support, who send shares, who send messages, all of that. So if you don't give stars, don't feel like, oh, my gosh, that's the only thing that matters. I, <laughs> no, I care about all of you sending likes and, and, and hearts. I love that. But if you're on my feed, if you see what I see, then it shows that. I can't see who's liking, who's sharing, all of that stuff on here. I see who's commenting. So I appreciate that. Thanks, Rehab Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. So that's the way somebody's showing support. So I want to say thank you if I can. And so um, not another day. That's what's up. Man, I appreciate you, Miss Nelson. Thank you. Thank you. Bless. I include, man, I'm trying to read y'all's comments. Lisa, bless our people. Hate you. That's right, Lisa. Thanks for sharing those words. Luke 622, I appreciate you. I've saved your life. I didn't save your life. Please don't give me that credit. <laughs> God saved your life and you saved your life. All I was was a vessel. I've always said that, man. I don't need that pedestal. I'm not a life changer. I'm a seed planter. So God used me. So, and you did the work. I can come on here, as y'all see, for hours and preach and preach and talk and talk and talk. I can talk till I pass out. I can talk till I'm losing my voice, which I'm doing tonight. If you don't make the change, if you don't, actually put in the work, if you don't say not another day and actually live by that, then nothing's going to change. It don't matter what I tell you. It don't matter what I, you know, advise you, inspire you or impact you to do. If you don't do it, it doesn't change. So as much as y'all give me credit, please take that credit and give it to yourself. Please give it to yourself because I want you to see how strong you are. Okay. I appreciate it. I'm glad that my message could be used to somehow ignite some type of fire or greatness in your life. Okay. So I really, really appreciate it. What up, Miss Mandy? Thank you. I appreciate you, Carrie. Jeremy, prayers for you, man. You see, you got waiting for a verdict from the courts, man. Prayers up for you, bro. Um, hope that it's all positive, man. Hope that it's all positive, man. So I said, you help me bring back to the Lord, man. That's what's up. Thank you, y'all. So we're about to go to Instagram. All 2,006 of you that stayed on here, just hearing me talk and send shout outs and thank yous and all that stuff. And uh, we reached our goal, obviously. And um, man, you will never believe how much. Hey, I can't freaking see these comments. Every time I see one, it just. But that's all love, man. So thank you, y'all. Um, not another day. Somebody should count how many times I said that in this live, but I just hope that that's ingrained in you. And that's like the command that you tell yourself, like, no, you know what? Not another day. So if you're unhealthy, I was unhealthy. Like I went and got my labs and I'm still not a place where I want to be, but I was unhealthy. Yes. Mr. Rehab time. Cause depression led me there. And I said, not another day. And I say, you know what? I'm going to spend time on things that help me be healthy. So, just know, man, I, I know the journey isn't easy, but the journey is worth it. I'm proud of you for taking that journey. Dang, she said, damn straight. Glad you said it. I did it. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Jenny. All right, y'all, Instagram, let's go right now. IG, at Trent Shelton. I need all 2,400 of you, okay? So when I get on there, it better say 2,000 people, okay? If you don't have Instagram, create one. <laughs> but come join in. Instagram is always fun. I got another message totally separate that I want to talk about. And, I, and the messages on Instagram, I'll tell y'all right now is that I'm going to talk about like how people like manipulation, um, how people will, I don't want to get us away, but I'm going to talk about that type of stuff. Um, so I know y'all love when I touch on st stuff, stuff like that, but it's going to be one of those messages about not believing certain things because a lot of times we believe certain things that aren't real or true and we fall victim to, to it and it ends up putting us in a bad place in our life. So I'm going to talk about that. So if that's a message that you want to hear, need, and y'all know me, I'll probably talk about a million other things too. Um, come on and and uh, come to my Instagram and tune in. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes for y'all. I'm getting towed up out here. All right? So 
Come do that. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the stars. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the messages. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the likes. All of that stuff. You showed any type of support. Thanks. All, anything. I'm grateful for you. All right. Instagram right now. Like I said in every single message, it all starts with you. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. And remember one thing when you get on Instagram, I know I said a different cold word, but say uh, not another day. That's how I know you from Facebook. Hey, what's up? Rehabs across the world. Trent here. Thank you for watching our new video. I hope it impacted your life. Listen, we're impacting lives all across the world. I want you to know this. It's because of you. It's because of you supporting the messages and sharing the messages. And speaking about sharing the messages, if this video touched your heart, if it's on your heart, please press share because I promise you this, there's somebody in the world right now that needs to watch this video. And by you pressing share, you become a hero in their life. I get messages every single day say, Trent, I had no idea what rehab time was yesterday, but my friend shared the video. I saw it on the timeline and man, did I need it. We're gonna continue to impact the world only with your help. We appreciate you. But like I said in every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.